what's what's up, Padawan? What's up, Padawan? Afro Joe, the Wookiee, like a T. Ah, Mood Vugani is Wookiee Mafia. Yo, yo. Now, everybody's been talking about what happened a few days ago with this young lady that's 32. She's my age. I'm about to be 33 next month, but and I feel bad for what happened. Like she died protesting against white supremacy against KKK, neo-Nazi, skinheads, uh, and it's like to from the south and people who's been complaining and bitching over statues, to me, a statue's a statue, no matter what. But when it comes down to people who is or was or associated with the KKK, to me that's in the past. To me, you might say, "Well, Joe, how, Afro Joe, how can you say this?" To me, it's like this: a statue is a statue. To me, you're fighting over something that's very petty, and. You're fighting over, oh, don't take it down, take it down, oh, don't take it down, take it down. To me, it's ridiculous, to be honest, but it's like this. People have opinions. People have a voice. People have choices in life. But when it comes down to it, it's like this, ladies and gentlemen. When it comes down to it like this, it's like, I understand both sides of the fence about it's history, but it's racist. Yes, it's history, but do anybody know the history of what of Lee Bedford, uh, Lee Bedford Forest? Like we had this problem in my hometown, my hometown of Nashville, where black people had problems with problems with Lee Bedford Forest. And wanting the removal of his statue. Now, to me, it's like this. To me, it's like this, ladies and gentlemen. Powder ones, Wookiee Mafia, Wookiee Nations. <laughs> that, for one, for one, it's like this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to ask a question. I'm going to ask, is it fair to see... Lee Bedford Forest statue taken down. To some people, yes. To other people, no. Is it fair to actually take down the name Martin Luther King's Junior High School, Martin Luther, Martin, Martin Luther King's Street, Avenue, Parkway? Same with Rosa Park. Same with with the uh, Harriet Tubman. You see where I'm going with this? I said, you got to look at it like this. You complain about a statue and you say it's racist, but when you name a street like Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, uh, Rosa Park, Harriet Tubman, you got to look at the fair as fair in love and war. To some people, when somebody drives down Martin Luther King Street, you don't think, well, that's racist because he's got his own street name. It's racist that Lee Bedford Forrest got a statue same as Martin Luther King that's out in Washington but you got to realize something ladies and gentlemen when you sitting up there you can't compare apples and oranges and I think that it's fair for one thing to be okay and for another not second thing is you don't know the history behind nothing I've said before when I did the video about the shooting down in Charlotte, North Carolina, about the young kid killing nine people in the church and waving the Confederate flag, and I've actually said this, people don't know the history. You sit there and say, that's racist, that's racist, that's racist, but you got to realize something, nobody knew the South made that flag to be different from the North. We was trying to be different from everybody else. It's the same as when black folks made Ebonics. 
when black people made Ebonics, they wanted to be different from whites. They wanted to be different from whites. And you can sit there and say, well, I don't see how that's relevant. It is relevant. When, when you sit there When you sit there and you judge a person by the color of their skin or the past they've had, you are no different than the people wearing the bed sheets or throwing up the fist. Do not sit there. <laughs> I say, you cannot sit up here. To me, I'm not for the KKK, I'm not for white supremacists, I'm not for neo-Nazis, none of that. But for a black man, I do have to say this, everybody has a right to freedom of speech. Like Philip DeFranco said, everybody had a right to freedom of speech. People fought over a flag and statue and three people died because of it. You fighting over items, material, you fighting over Things that should not be, should not, nobody care about. Three people died. Two officers and a young woman died. Lives taken away from. You cannot get that back because y'all want to complain and fight over a statue and a, and a piece of fabric. 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 There you go. And I feel bad that three people have to lose their lives because of this. You fighting over concrete metal and clothing and three people lost their lives people lost their lives of three uh, two items mainly one a, a statue and I sit there and I was like there's bigger things in life to fight about there's bigger things in life to fight about and then then fabric and a statue fabric and a statue now fighting over kids getting kidnapped out in the street yeah fight over that kids getting molested fight over that uh people dying in the street fight over that but when it comes down to a statue or a statue or a uh piece of fabric i think that's unnecessary to fight about but when it comes down to it you fighting over something because y'all ain't got nothing else to do. You probably would say, well, Joe, how can you say that? Afro Joe, how can you say Wookie? Wookie, how can you say that? Jedi Master Wookie, how can you say that? I say that because you got to think about it. You got to think about it. I'm going to set up a scenario I want y'all to pay attention to. I said, well, now there, here's the scenario. Now, there's a kid getting molested by a teacher. There's a guy hanging up a neo-Nazi flag. Which is more important? A kid getting molested by a teacher or a piece of fabric that somebody hung up? Half of y'all would say, well, both. No, you can't pick both. Pick one. Which is more important? A kid getting molested by a teacher or somebody hanging up a piece of fabric? <coughs> to me... What's more important is that kid getting molested by a teacher. Let's solve that problem first. That happens every day across this country. It happens every day across this world. And look where we're at. We find three people died of a piece of fabric and a statue. It's awfully funny how the world rather fight over a piece of fabric and a statue than fighting over a kid getting molested. Every day a kid gets molested. Every day a kid's committing suicide. Every day a kid's getting killed. But nobody will sit up there and say, now you'll see stories once every week, once every month, once every year about a kid getting molested by a parent, a relative, a teacher, uh, a friend. <laughs> now, uh, well, a few days ago, a kid was molested for two years at a Brentwood Academy school for two years from... 2015 to from what was it 2015 and 2016 he got molested for two years and they finally came out this year and said I was molested in the school knew about it but what did everybody do 
What did everybody do? The kid was getting molested by students, classmates. Students and classmates. What happened? I don't see nobody picketing, marching down the Brentwood Academy fighting for this kid. What happened? They're going to fight for a piece of metal. They're going to fight for a statue and some fabric. How come this kid being raped, molested by a classmate is not more important than this shit, this than a statue being taken down? So I did not know that a child being molested was not more important than a statue. To me, I think that's sad. I think that's ridiculous. To find out that <laughs> a child is not more important than a statue. How do we get to this point? How do we get to the point where three people lost their lives over a statue and the Confederate flag? How do we get to the point where a child being molested at a school for two years and the school, the school knew it? That makes me feel bad. That makes me feel very bad. You're probably saying, Wookie, what you talking about? I mean, I mean it like this, ladies and gentlemen. Paddle ones, Wookie Mafia. You're so wrapped up on the Jake Paul, the Logan Paul, the Lance Stewart, the Philip DeFranco, King Star, aka Drama Alert, Scares, the whole statue and the Confederate flags that y'all don't see. Your kids are getting jacked up while you fighting for something that shouldn't be fought about. That tells me your child's life is not more important. This woman will never see her kids. This woman and these two officers got taken away from their families. These three people will never get to see their kids grow up. They will never never get to see their kids graduate from college or high school, get married, have kids. They will never see their loved one because everybody was fighting over a statue. How would y'all feel? The question is to black folks, not to sit there and say, "I ha not to sit there and just go against my people." Not, not I can't say my people because half of them ain't shit to me, because they want to be, because Jay Z and Beyonce ain't shit, because I don't see them down there with y'all. But it's like this: How would y'all feel if white supremacy went went up there to Washington and marched, saying, "Take down that Martin Luther King statue. Take down that Martin Luther King statue." Y'all would be more pissed than they are. And y'all want to do the same thing, kill three more people. So you're going to kill somebody over, over a statue. Three people lost their lives because some something so petty. Three people lost their lives over something so petty. Because all y'all wanted to do was fight over a statue and saying that's racist, that's terrible, but not turning around and seeing that your kids are getting right kill a 12 year old girl just died a few days ago and all y'all care about is that damn statue of Lee Bedford Forrest and y'all really don't know him cause y'all that wasn't there to know this man y'all wasn't there to see what he does all y'all know is he was part of the KKK let's take it down I wasn't there to know what Martin Luther King was about I wasn't there to know what Malcolm X was about all I know is what they taught me in school but it doesn't tell me who they are just because you tell me what they did doesn't tell me who is that individual. That's all it, that's all it tells. It doesn't tell me who that person is. But three people lost their lives because y'all was fighting over a statue and a piece of fabric. Three people lost their lives. I said, this could have been settled right. What, what, what could have been settled? could have came together and said, you know what? I think it is racist. I don't think it is kind of messed up. Can we not remove can we like take it down permanently can you put it somewhere else can you move it to somewhere else where both sides are happy you you said well you sound like you sound like you like white supremacy no i'm talking about let's be fair let's be fair white supremacy kkk neo nazis are upset because y'all want to take down something they looked at, look up to. Black folks pissed off because that's a racist image. Now you gotta look at this, man. How can y'all fix this problem without losing lives 
over something so petty. Why don't you move it somewhere that white supremacy can enjoy and where black folks don't have to complain and march, march. You're fighting over an item, something that's useless. What's next? Are we going to fight over the Statue of Liberty because it represents freedom? Freedom. Oh my God, we fighting over material and items and people lose their lives and people are dying in the street every day over simple-minded BS and your kids are getting molested. And all you can take think about in your mind is the Jake Paul, the Nancy Stewart, oh, oh, Logan Paul, you can't change the world. Three people dying and all y'all doing is sitting up on YouTube looking at Jake Paul want to kiss his ass. I'm telling like the T.I. is, people. I'm not going to lie, deny, or do all this simple-minded BS. <laughs> but it's like this, y'all, man. Y'all got to grow up. Y'all cannot sit up here and fight over something so pathetic when your kids getting molested and killed. That's why things like the whole J.C. Dugard happened or them three girls that got kidnapped and held for 10 years happened because people want to fight over simple-minded stuff. They don't want to sit there and pay attention to what's going on around them. And I'm Afro, and I'm just telling like a T.I. is. Tell me what you think down in the comment section. Share this video with your friends. Like this video. Subscribe to my channels. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram. Uh, go to my like page, my Facebook like page, and tell me what you think. My Twitter, my Instagram, well, my Twitter, my Facebook like page, my Tumblr is down in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All that's in the description. Tell me what you think. Am I right or wrong? Am I right that we're fighting over something that's so petty instead of fighting over something that should be fought about? Or am I in the wrong to not to be furious? I'm furious about how these people died over something so simple-minded. Something so silly. They should Like one thing is some officers lost their lives trying to save people. This woman lost her life for practicing freedom of speech. But I forgot. Y'all the Donald Trump, Jim Jones, Kool-Aid drinking motherfuckers that wants to kiss his ass. And he still hasn't said nothing about the whole he denounced uh, the KKK. Tell me what you think. I'm Afro Joe. I'm telling like a T.I. is. If you ain't down with the wood, you're digging a booty ass. It's better to be a Jedi than a Sith or a peace-loving Afro-Greek.